Chancellor Jeremy Hunt will warn Labour's spending plans do not add up and promises taxes will be cut. Jeremy Hunt draws the economic battle lines for the general election with the promise of more tax cuts. The Chancellor will warn voters on Friday that they face higher costs under Labour as the party's spending plans do not add up. He will lay out hopes for another round of tax cutting this year as the economy bounces. Mr Hunt will say that while the government has had to raise cash to deal with the impact of global crisis like like Covid, it is committed to bringing them down in stark contrast to Sir Ear Starm. He is expected to say, Conservatives look around the world and notice that the lower taxed economies of North America and Asia generally grow faster than the higher taxed economy. Mr Hunt will add, Labour like to criticise tax rises this Parliament thinking people don't know why they have gone up, the furlough scheme, the energy price guarantee and billions of pounds of cost of living support policies Labour themselves support which is why it is playground politics to use those tax rises to distract debate from the biggest divide in British politics, which is what happens. Conservatives recognise that whilst those tax rises may have been necessary, they should not be permanent. Labour Mr Hunt's speech in central London comes at the end of a week that saw the unofficial start of the election campaign begin. Labour's Sir Ear gave a showy speech at an event in Essex where he was flanked by his shadow. It included an endorsement from the Boots CEO Sebastian James, a family friend of Foreign Secretary Lord David Cameron and Rob Borton, the boss of house builder Thakem, which has in the past donated large sums of cash to the concert he launched a pledge card that included his six first steps for Labour also invested in its biggest advertising spend since the previous general election, with ad vans and billboards and newspaper and Tory sources suggested the event had been planned by Labour as the start of its general election campaign, only to find that Rishi Sunak was planning to go to the country later in the but the party insider insisted Labour's offering had been vague. Despite the significant sum of money it would have cost to Sir Ear set out measures to invest in the NHS, education and policing as well as plans to create a new national energy company and an elite. Labour Steve Reid admitted the party's plans for a Great British Energy Board to create homegrown clean power may be very expensive after the Tuck claimed it will need up to 82 billion by 20. Tory sources suggested the Super Quango will cost £2,700 per house. Sir Ear also promised to promote economic stability, but failed to mention any hopes of cut. Pressed later on the emission, he told GB News, the tax burden on people is as high as it's ever been under this government. This has been the tax rise in government of all time. Rishi Sunak is the expert when it comes to tax rise. I don't think that's the way forward. What we need to do is pull a different lever and that is economic growth that will only come with economic stability. That's why it is I want the burden on working people as far as taxes are concerned to be as low as possible. I won't shy away from that. But I do know that we have to grow the economy to ensure that living standards across the country improve, which is so desperate.